Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So summer is finally here and it is blazing hot in Tallinn, Estonia here. And uh, yeah, it's almost like uh, Los Angeles weather. Uh, I kind of love it, but I kind of hate it. Uh, anyway, I'm stuck inside at the moment here, sweating my palms off because uh, I'm uh, making a video for you guys. So this is going to be my very first uh, video review from a gaming chair. So a huge shout out to Canyon Accessories who sent me their brand new game chair, which uh, looks pretty badass. It goes around 250 euros and it is the Korax uh, gaming chair that they are offering. Now, if anybody doesn't uh, know about Canyon, uh, I know a lot of, uh, about Canyon, or at least I knew about them back in 2002 to 2004 mostly, when I was working in IT and they made a lot of, you know, um, cheaper end uh, motherboards and stuff like that. Uh, and uh, it got to know uh, Canyon brand uh, quite a lot back then, but I haven't heard about them, you know, quite a while. And uh, yeah, they are making accessories like this gaming chair here. And uh, I must be honest, it's a pretty freaking decent chair for 250 euros or around 250 bucks in the US, right? Uh, but it does have some uh, some minor, you know, things that I could complain about that maybe they could, you know, improve in the future versions. Uh, but overall, the comfort is just absolutely top notch. Uh, and if you ask, uh, can it do this? <laughs> yeah, can it do that? Yes, it can do that. It can do the beauty by brick. <laughs> Uh, which was pretty uh, nice, you know, you can totally, you know, sleep on, uh, on this chair pretty much. The only thing I guess maybe, you know, add a proper uh, rest for your calves as well uh, when you do have this kind of uh, uh, option, because I couldn't, you know, put my uh, feet anywhere. They kind of just, you know, were up in the air, right? Uh, and this is also one of the uh, only negative things about this chair is that it is quite a high chair, so it's kind of meant for you know taller people, right? Uh, I'm like um, uh, a meter seventy-five to seventy-nine, and uh, my feet barely touch the ground, which is kind of an issue because it uh, starts to a little bit hurt your knees if you're you know if your legs do not comfortably. Uh, touch the ground and I do have it on the lowest setting so the lowest setting and my feet barely touch the ground So that's a kind of an issue for me. I don't know Is this a problem because this was a problem on the DX racer as well and uh, I don't know what's the problem. Why can't we go lower? Uh, with chairs, uh, that's that's just What why you know, I, I have the lowest settings and my feet barely touch the ground uh, quite a lot, uh, quite a big issue for me, but it, maybe not for you, right? And uh, and always you can put something underneath your feet, you know, uh, you know, a raise or something like that, so you could, you know, uh, rest your feet like that. But yeah, should have been, you know, the lowest settings. I shouldn't have issue touching the ground, right? But it is kind of pretty perfect chair for taller people then. Because it is really comfortable, you sit in it and you just totally feel the, you know, you're, you're peppered everywhere. <laughs> you're, you know, you feel really, really comfortable in this chair. Now it is a racing style type of chair, so I mean, I don't know if I personally like racing style chairs that much, because they, they're. The first time that I uh, saw racing chairs were this is this is a chair from a car, <laughs> and I, I I understand you know in a car you move around you know over the bumps and if you're racing right, but not so when you're <laughs> sitting behind the PC right and playing your video games you're pretty still there's no force feedback in this chair right, uh, no RGB stuff either. <laughs> Uh, so that was kind of, uh, th that's always been my issue with uh, racing style uh, chairs. So I tend to, you know, go for the boss chairs or something like that, like the executive chairs, which are just, you know, wide, wide and uh, really comfortable to sit in many positions. Because this is primarily, uh, primarily uh, meant for, you know, sitting neatly behind your desk. 
maybe you know lowering the chairs <laughs> a little bit on the back side right and uh, you know being a little bit comfortable like that but overall it's meant for only one position uh, so you can't you know re lean back you know eat something and chill and watch a movie or something you can but it's you know it could be a little bit better you know on wider chairs but they do have uh, wider chairs as well this just is a racing style chair uh, so I mean overall pretty decent chair uh, not gonna lie uh, really comfortable it does have the memory foam battings in it here and it does have some kind of a leather uh, some kind of a uh, different style, uh, type of leather than usual uh, I don't really remember what it was, but it was on the uh, website. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna post a, a link in the description so you can, you know, go over all the de minor de details, right? And um, yeah, uh, the other thing that, uh, you know, one thing is the chair is a little bit too high, right? On the lowest setting. And the second thing is the armrest, I mean, could be a little bit better. And the adjustment button is like in a really weird position. I need to use my other hand or really awkwardly use my you know the side of the uh, side of my hand that i want right but it's kind of awkward to you know adjust the uh, armrests uh, like that uh, maybe do something like other you know companies have done like uh, a button here or something like so i can just move it with one hand here i don't have to use the other hand to adjust the other uh, armrests which is kind of awkward right uh, but other than that, yeah, um, we do have the headrest over here, we do have the lumbar support pad, uh, which is really easily removable, right? And um, yeah, just that's, that kind of covers the chair. It kind of squirks a little bit when I move around. I don't know if you can hear it. Yeah. Yeah, that's maybe maybe that's something to do that how I you know built the chair up but when I go from side to side it tends to quirk a little bit so I mean yeah that's kind of a little bit of an issue but I should look it up maybe I did something wrong or something I, I don't know I need to look this up uh, other than then, uh, those things I mean Nothing really bad to say. I mean, for 250 euros, uh, a really decent gaming chair, and uh, you can't really go wrong with it. It is from Canyon. They did manufacture some really cheap uh, motherboards in the past, right? But they were a really, really big company back then, I remember. And uh, yeah, I mean, accessories, they're doing everything right now, but they could do a little bit better. But they're definitely on the right track here. So my overall uh, score is gonna be an 8 out of 10 and I would give it a 9 or even 9.5 out of 10 for this racing style seat if it would have been a little bit lower on the ground. So that's the only big negative issue. The uh, second one was the armrest thing, right? Uh, but other than that, a really perfect gaming chair and a really nice price. So that's gonna be it for my first uh, gaming chair review. Hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did leave a like and um, yeah if you have any questions leave them down below in the comment section and I'll be sure to answer them if I know the answer to those questions. <laughs> uh, so yeah uh, thanks for watching I'll see you guys later and uh, yeah subscribe if you haven't. Ciao!